Russia is winning over France and the US in Africa, which also affects the war in Ukraine. France intends to reduce the number of its forces stationed in the West and Central Africa for around 600 troops in compliance with President Emmanuel Macron's policy of limiting the country's military presence on the continent, AFP reported citing sources. According to the outlet, citing two government officials and a military source, all of whom requested anonymity, Paris will maintain only about 100 troops in the central African state of Gabon, down from 350 currently there, and around 300 personnel in Chad, down from 1,000. In Côte d'Ivoire and Senegal, where there are contingents of 600 and 350 forces respectively, Paris reportedly plans to downsize to around 100 troops in each of the West African nations. President Macron announced a noticeable reduction in France's military presence in Africa early last year amid a wave of anti-French sentiment in several former colonies, particularly in the Sahel region. Protests against the European country have grown in recent years, sparked by alleged military shortcomings and accusations of interference in the internal affairs of former colonies. In December 2022, Paris withdrew troops from the Central African Republic, citing an alleged closer relationship between the African country and Russia. Several other former French colonies on the continent, including Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger, have cancelled military partnerships with Paris and turned to Moscow for assistance in combating terrorism. The Sahel has been plagued by Islamic extremism since 2011 following a NATO intervention on behalf of insurgents in Libya. Last August, a group of French lawmakers wrote to Macron expressing their dissatisfaction with France's African policy failures, which they claim have resulted in deteriorating relations with former colonies. At present, many African countries have now concluded security agreements with Russia, which has been seeking to expand its footprint on the continent. Russia is emerging as the security partner of choice for a growing number of African governments in the region, displacing traditional allies like France and the United States. Moscow has aggressively expanded its military cooperation with African nations by using the private security company Wagner and its likely successor, African Corps, with Russian mercenaries taking up roles from protecting African leaders to helping states fight extremism. The Polish Institute of Internal Affairs said in a study that in creating the African Corps, Russia took an assertive approach to expand its military presence in Africa. Moscow is also seeking political support, or at least neutrality, from many of Africa's 54 countries over its invasion of Ukraine. African nations make up the largest voting bloc at the United Nations and have been more divided than any other group on General Assembly resolutions criticizing Russia's actions in Ukraine.